Have you ever wished you could get any guy you wanted to be absolutely obsessed with you? Wouldn't your dating life be so much easier if the guys you really wanted desired you 10 times more? Well, good news for you, because on today's show, we're going to be discussing how men become emotionally addicted to you. That way, you no longer have to deal with the embarrassment of liking a guy who doesn't like you back. Number one is how anxiety creates attachment. You've been of the uh, understanding that peace equals attachment. So peace is not allowing your man to do whatever, whenever. See, when you don't require anything of your man, that man will live up to exactly what your standards are. The process of pursuit is always going to be an anxiety inducing experience. Because when you approach a guy uh, that you want to talk to, that you want to get to know, you now take away his anxiety for you. And so what do you do when you're thinking about how to give him peace and happiness the entire time? You constantly reassure him. And when you do that, you take away all of his anxiety you're thinking oh i'm doing him a favor because he's gonna like me more now that he knows how much i like him and how much i want him and how much i want this to work but what you're actually doing is you're making pursuit harder the process of pursuing a woman that you want to get to know that you want to build with is meant to be anxiety inducing why because you're unsure if all of the effort you're going to put in to getting to know that woman and take her out is going to end up in you actually getting the woman. When someone's giving you anxiety, what are you going to be thinking? You're going to be thinking about them, wondering. You're going to be thinking, did I hold my fork the wrong way on our date? All of them take up what I call brain space. The person in your life that you're going to be the most feel the most attraction towards and feel like you like the most is always going to be the person who takes up the most brain space. If you think about it, logically, that makes sense. If I'm thinking about someone more, it's probably because I'm more attached to them and I care more. Now, on the opposite sense where we have reassurance, he came up to you. And as soon as he came up to you, you're already like you're the best thing since sliced bread. I don't need to hear you say anymore. Now you're making the experience less anxiety inducing. The process of having so much reassurance that he doesn't have to think about anything takes up less brain space. The cycle is number two. See, they know that one of the most amazing tricks in their back is to pull away from a woman they started dating and started seeing. Because when he sees you, you guys are slurping up spaghetti, having laughs, ha, 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 this is so amazing, ha, ha, ha. Very demure, very mindful, you guys are having a great time. And this goes on for a couple of weeks. And then that guy pulls away from you. The really smart guys know that this is actually a key pivotal point in his relationship or situationship with you. Because when he pulls away from you, what he's doing is he's adjusting the balance of power to be in his favor. Guys become accustomed to the cycle of, hey, I meet you, we go out on some dates, you enjoy your time to me, now you become attached to the idea that we're going to be together. When you start attaching yourself to the idea that you really want this to work, and I pull away from you, what are you going to start thinking? Why did he pull away? Why does he not want to talk to me anymore? It's went from me pursuing you to now you're thinking about how you can pursue me, do things for me so that I no longer pull away from you. When you finally are the first girl in his life that you break the cycle of him being able to pull away from a woman and then that woman chases after him and you're the first woman in his life that you know he pulls away from and is unbothered by him pulling away and goes about your life the same way you've been going about it, what it tells him is, oh, I'm actually not that special. If I don't text her, there will be other people texting her. If I don't ask her out on dates, there will be other people asking her out on dates. And it's a very humbling experience for guys when they finally meet a girl that they can't just pull away from and they will that girl will go bonkers. Now, number three, having a clean house. Let's imagine a scenario. You have a friend. You and this platonic friend have never been to each other's house. And that friend invites you over to their place. And when you enter her place, it's absolutely spotless. Then the next week, it's her turn to come to your house. What do you think 
you're gonna be thinking when she comes to your house. She can't come to my house. I got underwear on the floor. I got stuff everywhere. My closet is unclean. You're gonna be a little bit more self-conscious about the fact that you want your place to be clean when she comes over to your place because you see how well she takes care of her place. So you're probably wondering, okay, uh, Thompson, what does that have anything to do with my relationships or guys becoming emotionally addicted to me? You see, if I meet you as a man, and you say you expect princess treatment, guys take you here and do this for you and do that for you. But when I meet you and I see how you treat yourself and go about your own life, I don't see you treating yourself with consistency. I don't see you being intentional about the things that you want. I don't see you doing any of the self-love that you expect to receive from a man in a relationship. But what that tells me is how you treat yourself is representative of your house and how you take care of or don't take care of your own house. So if I came over to your house and you live like a pig, when you come to my house, I'm not gonna be as self-conscious about if there's clothes on the bed or anything like that, because I already know in comparison to how you live your life like a pig, it's not really gonna matter that much if I have a few clothes on my bed. So when guys meet you and they learn and understand you to be someone that doesn't take treating yourself well, he will start thinking to himself, well, I'm just gonna meet her exactly where she already is. And number four, ego attachment. So all these men are crawling on glass, they're trying to sniff your butthole and they want access to you. However, you're not accessible to all of those men who want you despite how much they want you and beg for you. The process of getting access to you in itself is something that when I look at me or when people look at me, just having you as my woman is actually subsequently a representation of me. And so they begin to attach the process of even just getting to be your man to their ego. Because when you're that woman that all the other men want, and he has you, he now gets to feel like the man because he has you. I know it sounds very not straight, but I promise you they're still straight. But what I want you to be doing is to be cognizant of the concept and the way that perspective will change a man's approach to you. That way, when you go out on dates, you know how to present yourself in the light that puts you in line with the way that you want to be treated. And number five, competition. I know, I think she has a great dump truck and I think she's amazing, but I also know that all these other guys think she's amazing. I got a bigger schlong than that guy. I'm more charismatic than that guy. I'm a better man than that guy. I'm taller than that guy. I'm a big dog. He's a small pup. I'm getting that girl. Men like you for you, yes, but they also like you for how other guys like you as well, just as much. You can actually use that against them or for yourself, if you, however you want to think of, of it, and use it to your advantage to get men even more attached to you knowing that they're gonna be more interested in you if they know all of the other men want you as well. That's just a little secret. Let's not talk about this anymore after this. They also love to know that they're doing the most to get you and all the other guys want you but don't have an opportunity with you. 